What's up guys, my name's Captain Dave and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where last time we left off we set about going and finishing off everything we had to do in Ilium including helping Miranda's little sister escape her father once and for all and be settled with her family now gaining Miranda's full loyalty on this mission so she's completely focused on the task at hand which is stopping the collectors. But as for now, we've got to really get off and probably start doing more loyalty missions and helping more of our squad mates so they can focus on this mission. But before we do that, oh, it is that time again. We need to go around and we need to start scanning more planets for minerals and other such, such, other such, such, other such things like that, which I'm sure is going to take quite a long time, or at least for me, because there are a lot of planets in this system and there are a lot of systems within this cluster. So, I'm going to be at this probably for a couple of hours, but luckily you guys don't have to see that because I'm nice and I cut it out of the video. The things I do for you, eh? The things I do. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue on doing all this stuff and I'll see you if anything interesting happens to happen along the way. So, I'll see you in a bit. sounds definitely like a clips if I've ever sounded one or maybe I'm just being specious with this Solarians but mercenary acti activity detected inside a mining facility on the planet surface facility confirmed registered to El Eldfer Ashland Energy Corporation eclipse presence confirmed yep I thought as much distress beacon powered down at site sensitive multiple spacefaring vessels launches from facility well, let's go in and investigate and see what we can find. So I've been out here searching planets. I think this is the second system now that I've completed searching planet, searching the planets for. And there's four systems inside this cluster. So we are literally on the halfway mark and we have come across this little base. So I'm actually quite happy. I felt like killing something. And it seems how the Eclipse seem to be just very happily opening out their bodies for death. It's just all the better. Now, once you get a character loyal like Miranda is now, if you go on info there, obviously I haven't got her ability up yet, but she gains one more ability, and also you can change her appearance. But I like to, I like to save that outfit, or at least for when every single squad mate is loyal, because then I feel like it's got the shepherd uniform on. But for this one, bomb. Who should I take? I'm gonna take. Do you know what? I'm not gonna make. I was gonna say Zaid because they're Eclipse, and I don't know he's like a Merc hunter. But I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did last time. Eclipse means tech, which means I am going to take with me Tally, and let's take Kasumi. I'm not necessarily certain that she has uh, like tech abilities, like Overload and stuff like that. Well, actually, I tell you what. In actual fact, let's take Garrus and let's take Kasumi. So I know for a fact Garrus has Overload, and I'm not actually sure Tally doesn't. She has like a uh, combat drone and like AI hacking, but she doesn't actually have something like Overload, which is what I need. But anyway, finally I can upgrade Shepard's Reeve to fully max it out. It's got Heavy Reeve, which does 40 points per second for 5.50 seconds, or the area which just has an impact radius of three meters, but only does f only does the 40 points for four seconds. Hmm. I'm actually half tempted to get an area reeve. But this I thought for this ability I'd be going heavy reeve because it's just like that one enemy you just do them more damage. But I'm actually more thinking an impact radius just because it, with the impact radius I could suck the health from about three people all at once. Now do you know what? I'm going to go heavy reeve. I know it's only like one and a half second or you know one and four, like five sixths or however you want to count it. But Oh, nothing really spend there, but uh, when I upgrade like uh, Paul fully, that's going to be used for. Um, I'm completely tongue-tied now. I can't even think. That's going to be used on the area. So you've got heavy concussive shot, massive blast that repels enemies with bone crushing force, or just normal concussive blast. And again, impact radius of three meters. 
Uh, I am going to go with... Hmm, concussive Blast, the area attack. Because Garrus, I'm going to be bringing on more of the bigger missions. Obviously, I'm going to want that area attack to just keep enemies back. And that's what I'm going to need it for. And as it turns out, it looks like Kasumi had a overload anyway. So, I didn't really need to worry. But, Garrus can sue me. Why not? Alright, so let's get your overload, let's get your overload, let's hotkey them too, just because I've got a feeling we're going to be needing that quite a lot. And what's everyone rocking with? Uh, Garrus, you switched to the sniper for now, and Kasumi. Yeah, you can keep the Tempest, why not? Switch up! Alright, guys, let's do this. Ooh, I wonder what these things are. Come back here! <laughs> I was going to shoot them like the pie jack, but Shepard has been killing far too many creatures recently. Nothing hidden behind rocks? No? Oh, it's a random area then. Shipping log. Cargo ship Tur Allen docked and received a large shipment of resources en route to the facility in the Drang Dranek system. Tur Allen requested escort for the shipment, claiming private activity along the route. Oh, pirate activity, sorry, <laughs> along the route. Dyslexia rules, ladies and gentlemen, dyslexia rules. Oh, the music's picking up. Yep, I thought as much. Let's do this! Garrus, do you want to get this guy out of my face for me, please? Thank you very much. Oh, Kasumi, how about you finish this one off for me? I know how much you love to do it. <laughs> it's like Garrus doing a little bit of pep talking for Kasumi. He's like, yeah, Kasumi, you can do it. <laughs> either that or he's deluded and he thought he did it, but either way. All right, we're supposed to be heading through that door, so before we do... Standard Captain Dave walkthrough rules. We're supposed to go one way. Go the other way first. And you gain yourself 2,000. What was that? Palladium, was that? Or was that platinum? I didn't quite see. I think it was palladium. Okay, Dave, what we got. Little connection things there. Some of them. Oh, this is like a nice easy one. You can always tell when it's a door that you're supposed to get through, like you have to get through it, because they always give you such an easy little hack game. Alert, we're under a, we're under mercenary attack. Escort civilians to crew quarters, then return to work area to protect main computer at all costs. Oh dear. They've killed innocent civilians, now they must die. As if shooting at us wasn't bad enough. Alright, what have we got? We've got one health, one with a barrier. Alright, concussive shot on you. I'm also going to hit a reeve on you. And Kasumi, do you want to go do the honors on this one? Oh, Kasumi! The person's still alive. You, you haven't actually quite done what I wanted. Alright, you back there, you can stop that immediately. Garrus, do the honors. Sweet. And Sumi this time, actually make sure you kill them. Kasumi, I'm bringing you on more missions. I've officially decided I do not bring you enough. Oh, looks like we're not going that way. Career attacks aren't necessarily great unless they're fo- Oh, good lord, what was that? That was rude, just rude. I know he was already dead, but I just felt like that needed to be done. Sits there quietly hiding like a little camper and then takes their shot when I'm not looking. Smart, but 
very rude and kind of cowardice. Yeah, I know Kazumi's attacks aren't necessarily great area attacks. They're kind of very defined attacks, but I just think as a character, she's I just I have not used her enough, like personally, like on and off camera. I just feel she's someone that needs to be used more. But Gareth knocked this one back. Look, this guy's running away. He knows what's coming. But you're too slow, my friend. Too slow. Uh, Kasumi, get behind. Oh, get behind that one. Take him down. <laughs> that guy was a little bit distracted by Kasumi for a second. Enter Shepard. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. <laughs> That'll do it. I was certain there was somebody else around here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No? No, you don't want to come out and play? Alright. <laughs> Let's quickly go down here, grab some of this. Let's grab the bridge controls, just because of why not. Make life a little bit easier for ourselves in the future, although that may also be opening up the bridge for the enemy. Only time shall tell. Oh, we're looking for the blue bit at the top, ba -ba -bum, green bit in the middle, and mainly green. There was a big clump of that up there just now, but doesn't matter. Locate, uh, blah, blah, blah. Location of last report from Te Ala encrypted. I've already read that top one. It looks like it's going to take a, quite a while to decrypt. And let me guess, we're going to get attacked in the process. Why am I not surprised? Come closer, my friends. Oh, you want to sit back there and camp? I've already given my opinion on campers. And I'll make an example of that guy. Well, I can't quite see him, but... Oh, no, it looks like you... Can't quite see him, but Kasumi, take him out. No? Alright, let's get a better, better angle on all this. Oh, Garrus, I've seen that I've just given you an area concussive shot. How about you You do the deed for me? And Kasumi, you take this guy. <laughs> Every time I see that, it makes me giggle. Looking over there, right? Oh, who else we got left? Oh, I wasn't wrong when I said that opening of that bridge might give them an advantage to get in towards us. They've seen it. I'm pretty certain some of that shield. Yet, yeah, Kasumi, give me a hand. Boom! Shepard to the face. As I say, you feel like you're, you're running low on health, you just do your vanguard charge, and your health is back up again. Or at least your shields are, anyway. No, Garrus! Oh. <laughs> got your back, my friend, I've got your back. The decrypted data is incomplete. Further details are required to trace it to Alan's location. The data has been sent to Cerberus for further analysis. Hmm. And that is that. But I do see one little crate in the corner there, which I am going to pilfer through. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why you extend the bridge. You get yourself some nice 2000 palladium. But, guys, that is done. Let's head back to the Normandy. Recovered data referring to Tur Allen's location and more decryption is needed. We got experience, we got palladium, all things are good. But as for now, I'm going to continue searching all the planets left in the remaining systems inside this cluster and then I'll be back with you if anything interesting happens along the way. I have found 
Hmm, the Vorcher are hungry for battle. Well, so is Shepard. Maybe I should get old G Garth or Gareth or whatever his name is from Omega down here, but... Preliminary scans indicate a high-powered communications relay on the planet. Communications that match known blood pack mercenary protocols. A concentration of Krogan and Vorcher signals are massed inside what appears to be a mining operation. Life signs detected. Unknown species. Advise caution. Well, caution has been advised. Thank you very much. It's good to finally be fighting some blood pack. We constantly seem to always be going up against his eclipse recently. It's good to finally be up against some blood pack. I feel like some Krogans and some Vorchers, they... Standard stuff. You just you take them down, use biotics and just mow them down. So, for blood pack, hmm... Who shall I use? I'm feeling... For this one, for a bit of blood pack action, I'm feeling the use of... Grunt and Jack. Oh yeah, I never really, well, I suppose I did test Reeve, but I never really noticed the effects of Reeve. Maybe I should try it on a, a better host. Anyway, let's max out Concussive Shot. And Garrus, I did Concussive Blast, I think with Rex. Rex? Oh, I'm so sorry, Grunt. <laughs> That's like when you accidentally slip up and say your ex's name in bed. Not that I'm, you know, romancing Grunt or anything. But anyway, since I have a Garrus, I'm using Concussive Blast. I think I'll use Heavy Concussive Shot with Grunt. So Garrus has the area concussive shot and Grunt just knocks them back. Anyway, let's grab some incendiary ammo for him and Jack. Some pull. Shepard, yep, yep, yep. Your... That's it, the... I suppose, uh, what are you using that for? You can use the Claymore Grunt. Get it right, use your good shotgun. I chose the Vindicator so you could use the Claymore. I mean, we could both use it anyway, but still. And uh, Jack, you're good to go to. Now that thing over there did not look very friendly. Why is it that I have to wear a helmet because Jack can get away with just that face breather mask? Grunt on the other hand, I think you should wear that thing more often. You look like a bona fide badass with that thing on. And switch to the Vindicator as well. Barley up some incendiary ammo with that. What are you guys using? The shotgun and Grunt, use the shotgun. What is he? I thought, I thought Krogans loved their shotguns. What's with you? Much better. Oh, sh <laughs> the old shotgun wheeling. That's what I love to see. It's a heavy concussive shot. Shockwave. Alright, let's do this. Stay close, team. I don't really fancy losing one of you here. We survive all this stuff we come up against and I'll lose you the fog and some weird snake with wings. My thoughts exactly, Grunt. Attention all workers, stop chipping away at this node. There's nothing left here to mine. Move on to the other sites now. Salumu. Whatever that name was. <laughs> I'm terrible with names, I really am. So, it looks like we follow the yellow brick road, or whether it be follow the blue laser. Either way, <laughs> we've got ourselves a bit. Yeah, I think it pretty stings Jack a lot more. You've covered up other than your arms. Jack's, I think, pretty much nude. You never mention how much I like you, Jack. <laughs> New squad mates. <laughs> There's a porn parody of this out there somewhere, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> Whoa, we've got a Clicks in. That's new. I thought we were up against the rack knife for a second then. Whoa, and this thing breathes fire. Okay. I think I definitely brought the right two squad mates. Jack, where are you going? Jack, you're a bad arsenal, but don't run off like that. Oh, he's telling us to go that way, so let's go have a little looky-loo back here. 
Raw material, 400 platinum. Oh, it's just like the old days of Mass Effect where we had to go up and tap on the rocks. But no, I think if we're up against stuff like that, Grunt and Jack were definitely the best choice because them two just love killing things and we've got, we're up against bugs that breathe fire for crying out loud. And that thing. Shepard almost looked a little bit nervous there. Was his gun shaking? I don't doubt. Now it looks like that shockwave wasn't exactly that effective, but it's still better than nothing. Oh, raw materials. Don't mind if I do. I tell you what, this planet's definitely different. I'll give it that much. I uh, don't believe there's anything down there. Alright, let's make our way up. Different and eerie at the same time. I love it. I've been I've been thinking we needed a bit of a change up, and this is definitely a change. It kind of reminds me of a greasy version of Ilos. What the hell are they doing here? Your guess is as good as mine. Attentional workers, fall back now. Evacua evacuation shuttles are on the way. Anyone not at the gathering site when the shuttles arrive will be left here with those damn bugs. Salumu. Salumu. God, he's got the nearly got the name of Admiral Kapupu. Vorture. More Vorture. Those weird little bug things I keep hearing. Looks like they didn't get to the shuttles in time. Yeah, I was wondering where Grunt had gone. We just stay close. These things seem to jump out of nowhere. It's telling us to go that way, so let's go have a little looky-loo down here. What are you doing? Playing following the leader or something? A little game of hide and seek? Well, that's what I love. Toxic, eerie, greasy, gooey planets with bugs that spit fire and we play a nice little game of following the leader. How Shepard, Jack and Grunt roll. I oh, don't think I don't see you back there. Seems like even if they don't spew a fire, they kind of explode before they get to you. Oh, and another one. Oh, a couple of them. Oh, I did not mean to hit the one at the back. Grunt, help me out. Help me out. Get that one at the back for me. And Jack, I don't know if it's going to help, but try doing a pull on them. Ah, oh, there we go. That looks like it's the way to do it. Shockwave didn't seem to do much, but you hit them with a pull and it lifts them right up in the sky. I believe there's a data pad back here. Samulu. Was it? How do you say that? Salamu. Salamu. Sa I'm just going to call him Samuel. Samuel, I can't get any more Vorture from Omega. Garm, Garm has his own problems. You're going to have to man up and deal with this on your own. Maybe build a beacon path. I bet those damn Vulture are just wandering off into the fog and getting lost. Yeah, it sounds like something they'd do. Yeah, and Garm definitely had, does have his own problems, being dead and all. Courtesy of Commander Shepard. And for those of you who don't remember, Garm, big angry Krogan, shot him in the face while recruiting Garrus. It does a little refresher course for you. Some more platinum. Seems like everything we're going to get around here. Hey, Jack, I said stay close. Now we'll get my back a little bit closer. You wander off, I'm not going to bring the Normandy back to look for you. Although I do like how the fog decreases the higher you go up. I think that's kind of a nice touch. I'm surprised that one still works. Back into the mist we go. Oh, I thought that was that creature then. I just know it's going to try and jump out on me. 
Yeah, I'm sure we can deal with it. Whoa! Did not know that thing was behind us. Grunt, Grunt, where are you going? Come back here. You madman. Grunt. Right. Gotcha. God, you're crazy. You're running off like that. We've still got things to look around down here. Plus, you go off and get killed. I'm going to be angry if I have to waste Medigel on you. Samuel, where are those resources? Are you mining out there or standing around waiting for those Vorture to get smarter? Our guy on Ilium can't keep the lights off forever. You keep stalling and we'll have a hell of a fight on the way in. And that would make me really, really angry. Oh, you don't want to make Kalusk really, really angry now, do you? Especially if that was Kalusk. <laughs> Which, oh, that was the way we came from. All right, I got a little bit all turned around then. It's like we're heading up there. All right, Grunt, now you can come up. Oh, what are you guys still doing here? I thought they would have tried to get out of here as soon as they can. All right, uh, Jack, do you want to hit Paul on that one? Grunt, concussive shot. <laughs> That's the way we do it. Anything else? No, I'm just in Vorture blood on the wall. Nothing to worry about. Oh, is this a dead end up here? Oh, I thought that was the way we had to go. There is no way we're getting off this island without having to fight that big flying thing. Hang on. Oh, damn it, this is the way we came. I'm getting all turned around. Right. <laughs> I thought I was following the beam, but I was following it like in the reverse order. Even though I was the one who went the wrong way, I'm going to blame that one on Grunt. <laughs> he ran off, it got me all turned around. Right, so we want to head up that way. Wasn't I just round there, though? I thought that was a dead end. That's where we found the data pad. Oh. Okay, big old ramp up here. <laughs> totally oblivious. Oh, I think this was the bit that I thought was the way I would come from. Oh, who cares? All that matters now is we're on the right track. And apparently pretty much back where we started. Oh, it sounds like something we're missing a firefight going on up here. Grant, this is what you've been waiting for. Whoa! There goes that shuttle they were talking about, and I seem to be stuck on some sort of rock. But anyway, we've got a few things going on here. So we've got barrier, grunt, concussive shot, I'm gonna hit a reeve. And then, I'm going to try and take some cover. A Krogan this up close, not a good idea. Boom! Oh, go on, Grunt. You do that thing. <laughs> well played, Grunt. Right, Jack, do you want to hit Shockwave, Grunt, Concussive Shot? I'm just going to go in and say hello. Boom! Not if I get there first, Jack. Not if I get there first. Right, anything else left around here? No? Nope. Alright, let's grab the data or the communication terminal and let's go. Do, 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 do. And we didn't even have to fight that big flying snake looking like thing. 
I'm kind of impressed and a little bit disappointed. But anyway, we encountered an unclassified hostile alien species. Eliminated blood pack forces that were on the ground. Hey ho, hey ho. Anyway, I'm sure that gave Grunt something to do. At least took his mind off needing to go to the Krogan uh, DMZ for a while. Anyway, stop him headbutting the ship, the uh, glass on my ship. You're costing me a fortune. I'm glazing, Grunt. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to continue mining all the planets in this system and the one other system we have left in this cluster. Unless anything interesting happens, I'll see you in a bit.